Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today is a quick tutorial guide on the Volkswagen dashboard information and settings available on the T-Rock, Tiguan and T-Cross plus some other vehicles available. As always, I'll leave all the timestamps down below for you to skip forward. If you're looking for any other Volkswagen videos in the future, please make sure you subscribe and like. That'll be really helpful for the channel. Alright, first thing, this vehicle is a Volkswagen T-Rock. If you're driving something similar or different vehicle, you may have a slightly different look on the dashboard, but the whole logic is going to be the same. So first thing, we'll notice these buttons on the right hand of the steering, the arrow buttons that allows you to go into different display settings. And when you see the display over here, you'll notice on the very left, we have the traditional display for your water temperature, uh, the level, and on the right, that's the fuel tank. And obviously, this is a full tank at the moment. And in the center, that's your driving cluster or driving instrument panel. We do have some warning on the left, on the right, whenever there's something wrong. I didn't fully switch on this vehicle, so that's you get the engine light, don't worry. In this particular display panel, we get three different screens. These three different screens can all be personalized, which I will show you. And then you also have different sort of view or view types as well. If you press this view button over here, you can change to this view type. That means the middle screen gets larger and the side screen gets smaller. Click view again. The middle screen is still the same, side screen is still the same, but we do have some additional information, which is your start time, your um, since start average consumption, your information for your music, and your range to empty. Again, this can be displayed, don't worry, I'll show you that later. Or we'll press view again, that goes back to the traditional display panel, like your instrument cluster or your old analog dial on the side. So that's the three designs. You can change whenever you like. You can display whenever you like for the center screen. Apart from those three designs, we also have small information on the top bar and underneath the bar. On the top left, that's the direction for your campus, your driving direction. This means your driving assistance functions on time and your land departure warning, land clip assistance, outside temperature. On the left, that's your trip, which is your trip one, or you can change to trip B. On the right, that's your driving range or your odometer. If you switch on cruise control or anything like that, it will show over here. Plus, we have the warning for your seatbelt. And then next, to change whatever you like in the center, in the middle, you can go right or left whenever you like to change whatever you like. And they'll shuffle between the screens. First one is your driving assistance. Let's say if you switch on the cruise control, it will show you the cruise control over here. Again, at any screen, you can click view button, it will enlarge the middle screen. We'll go back to the original one, as that's most people's favorite. Go right again, you can see, we'll shuffle to navigation. If this is on navigation, if your vehicle is equipped with the navigation, it will show the navigation information or guidance information if you start driving. Alternatively, you can also go into your navigation setting and click the right bar over here, this one, to confirm show map in cluster, just like that. So you now your navigation is in the center. Again, if you press the view, you can enlarge your navigation so it has a much clear view for your driving cluster. In some vehicles, let's say this T-Rock, you don't you won't be able to do navigation in both uh, menus. But if you're driving something else, you may be able to do navigation on both or map display on both panels. And also on navigation, you can go up. And down over here, you can see the up and down arrow. That means you can zoom in and zoom out on the panel. If you click OK, you can also engage the auto or non-auto for the zoom in, zoom out. Again, that's up to you. Apart from that, we can go right. Next one is your audio. You can change your audio settings. At the moment on radio, you can go up and down to change your radio stations and click OK to select. Just like that. And next one, we get the phone, telephone. So if your phone is connected, you can go up and down to select your contacts to quickly call someone on this particular screen instead of going through this particular screen or on your phone. This is up to you. Next, we have the vehicle status. At the moment, everything is good. That means your vehicle is good condition or good status. If your vehicle has a 
uh, tire pressure warning or if your vehicle has a um, safety warning, anything like that, it will display on your dashboard to let you know. Next, we have the driving information. So this time it shows the range, but you can also go up and down to change whatever you like. You can do a trip, that means it will show the first trip. At the moment, 21.6 Ks. You can also press hold OK to reset. You can also do oil temperature, you can do speed, you can do range, whichever you like. Even overview shows your overview information. So this is up to you. Again, whenever you like, press the view, it will change your view consumption or your view information. Apart from that, we also have small panels on the left and small panels on the right. As standard setting, it will always show your gears, which is your park, or your digital speedo, which is your zero kilometers per hour. If you do want to wish to change that, you can also change this. In this instance, it's in the center screen. Now, if we go into the car setting, or if you go into the menu, we go into the vehicle setting. Anyway, it's going to show the display. So two ways to go into that. One way is press the selection, go to digital cockpit, change that. Otherwise, you can go into setting and go all the way down to instrument cluster. So in the instrument cluster, we're going to go to the active info display, which is the name for your digital dashboard on your Volkswagen vehicle. Click contents and go into the digital cluster again. So the classic setting, classic setting is your gear on the left and your speed on the right, which is the display right now. If you go to auto, you can change whatever you like or may shuffle in between. I can't remember. Oh, sorry. It will change based on your driving mode. By the way, in auto, I was wrong. Click view one. That means you can personalize all these things up and down, whatever you like. Let's say you want the consumption on the left. Then I want range on the right. That means your consumption will be on the left, your range will be on the right. If you still like the digital speedo, don't worry, you can still have your digital speed on the right bottom and your parking gears on the right, left bottom. It will be permanent display even if you change anything on the left or on the right. Otherwise, you can have your digital speedo in the center over here. Let's say we can go back to speed in case you still want the speed in the center. That's no problem. So that's how to personalize all these three ways. If you change to view one, that means it will save your view one, change view two, save your view two, change view three, or save your view three. That means in case in the future you want to quickly change anything, you can click any of the buttons. You can select all the information. There are so many more selections rather than just what I explained. But classic is what I personally prefer and maybe majority of you prefer. But at least Volkswagen give you all the selections. You can personalize this. Big thumb up. So there we go, that's the quick adjustment for the center display and quick explanation for this particular active info display. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe and like if you found this helpful. See you next video.